It's called the silent killer because you can't see it, smell it, or taste it. But carbon monoxide is responsible for more than 50 deaths in Canada each year, with an average of 11 of those in Ontario. This is a perfect example of what fire officials are warning about, the dangers of carbon monoxide. This 15-story building here behind me was evacuated in December due to a carbon monoxide leak that sent one person to hospital. And neighbours in the area are saying it's scary. I think I have working carbon monoxide, uh, but I, I have to check, I guess. When you live in large buildings like this, I mean, you just sort of live in uh, with thrust. Does that make you think to yourself, maybe you should get like a plug-in carbon monoxide alarm for your own unit? Hmm. You know, it's not something I thought about until you mentioned it just here today, but uh, perhaps that is a good idea. Starting January 1st, 2026, a new Ontario fire code takes effect, expanding where CO alarms are placed in the home. The requirement is now that you have carbon monoxide alarms on every level of the home and outside all sleeping areas. I see you have a carbon monoxide detector there in your hand. Just show me how to use it, huh? for those who don't know. Well, it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is plug it in into an electrical outlet. Now it's good to go. And always remember to test it monthly. Freebie says these plug-in units are the most cost effective, about $30 each. But there are also interconnected units that run throughout your entire home and double as a fire and CO alarm. With this particular alarm, you actually have the strobe feature, which gives you that light sensation so that if you're hard of hearing or deaf, you get that instant alarm. Without a device to alert you right away, chances are that you will sleep through a carbon monoxide um, incident in your home. Freebie says low levels of CO poisoning begins with a headache and nausea, but... As the carbon monoxide levels rise, your symptoms will increase as well. So you may feel faint. Uh, you may notice cyanosis of the skin, which is essentially that blue color. It means you're not getting enough oxygen. Which ultimately can lead to death. Officials say if your alarm goes off, get your family together, leave your home immediately, close the doors behind you, and call 911. For more information, check out cosafety.ca. In Toronto, Rianne Campbell, City News.